Hello, my name is Nicholas Vogler, um, and I am the adopted parent of my bird, Romea. Good My daily routine is first I um, I have to change her food and water, then every then scoop of food. Normally I have a scooper, but scooper's not here right now, so I have to use my hands. Then I'm gonna go change her water. So first of all, we have to dump the bad water in the toilet. And we have to rinse out the bowl. And there's your water. Now I'm going to go and put it back in her cage. Put the paper in it. And take the paper. Romea is a sun conure that enjoys time with people eating fruit and seeds and making holes in anything made of cloth. She has a very funny fear slash aggression towards electronics. An example of this is when I was watching YouTube on my phone. She tried to bite it. Also, she likes looking out the window and hiding inside of blankets. And then when it's all done for the day, if it's a warm day outside, then I will unlock the window and open it for her. Uh, some, of the pro some of the pros of having a bird are you have a little pet that is not too hard to clean up after. Um, and, and one of the cons is that she wakes you up at 7.30 every morning, no matter what day it is. Sure, yeah, pros. Uh, some um, s s someone that's fun or a uh, pet that's fun to play with um, and uh, very loyal so those would be the pros some of the cons are their constant upkeep uh, you have to constantly every day clean their um, cage and uh, care after their you know, their food and water must be changed every day. You know, upkeep on the cage can also be uh, costly <laughs> uh, because they don't last forever and you have to keep getting new toys. I actually do because um, she's very fun to play with and she's pretty funny. Um, me and my mom were just taking care of her for her friend, but then he moved away, so we got to keep her. I do think other people should adopt because um, they're very fun to have as a pet and I think other people would like it too. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. If they really um, have the time to spend with the bird, then absolutely. I, I would highly recommend someone getting a bird because they love attention and they will hang on your every word and uh, um, you know, just be your best friend if you let them. Uh, but if you're not able to spend time with the bird, I don't recommend it at all because I feel like there's a lot of downtime for the bird. And, uh, you know, if, you, if it's just in a cage, it's kind of lonely in there is how I feel. Okay, why do you think she likes you the most? And what is it like being her favorite? Oh, well, I think she likes... Well, I, I, I don't know if she likes me the most, but right now I would say that she probably uh, likes me better. But it, because I take the time to have a conversation with her, you know, I make sure that her cage is cleaned, and I think she really appreciates it when I clean her cage, not just, you know, take the paper out, but fully clean it out. She, um, she likes just spending um, time with with any you know anyone 
But and so if you do that, I think you, you quickly become her favorite. So I've been spending a lot of time with her. Oh, uh, make sure that whatever bird you do decide to get, you research it first because certain birds, they like to chew everything up, <laughs> like our bird, and other birds, they like to squawk. Oh wait, our bird does that too. <laughs> um, but there are other birds that are more quiet, that don't bite, um, but they might not have as much personality like our bird, so anyway. <laughs>